Managing patients with chronic symptoms and the diagnosis of Lyme disease, um, first of all, as far as the schools of thought, there are really two schools of thought. There are the people who say there's such a thing as chronic Lyme disease and you need to treat it long term, and then there's the people who are right, <laughs> who, uh, who say there is no such thing. Um, one of the problems is that there is a condition that, that is more properly called post-Lyme syndrome. People who have truly been infected with Lyme disease, have been treated uh, appropriately, may not feel 100% better. They may have a chronic fatigue type of illness. Some people may even have, if you're familiar with fibromyalgia, uh, a condition that causes achiness and pain and no specific positive tests. Uh, and there's nothing that can be done to diagnose it. It's, it's a physical exam diagnosis and a history diagnosis. And fibromyalgia is fairly common in the population to begin with. And it does appear that certain things like Lyme disease being one of them may be able to set it off in some people. So there are people who will get over a course of Lyme disease and have a fibromyalgia type of illness, which is mislabeled chronic Lyme disease. There are certain people in the past who said that treating someone like that with antibiotics long term would make them feel better and uh, that they seemed to do better while they were on the antibiotics. Uh, I think that has more or less been been um, debunked and it's felt that a large part of that was probably the placebo effect you know people were getting these strong antibiotics so it must do some good so yes I feel better but that's probably not uh, the case um, so really once somebody's treated for a full course which is usually four weeks at most for Lyme disease, if they continue to have these kind of nonspecific fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue type syndrome symptoms, uh, then they need to be treated symptomatically and not, not with antibiotics. There's one other chronic condition that can be happening. There's can be seen. There, there are a rare group of people, uh, and some people think it might even be genetic, um, that the Lyme disease will actually, when you get, you'll get, they'll get Lyme arthritis from the infection, it will set off an immune reaction in the joint that will continue even after you take away uh, the, the infection. Um, so, I mean, I guess you can, it's, it's a, maybe a poor analogy, but it's like if you light a match and set fire uh, to a newspaper, then you blow the match out, the match is gone but the fire is continuing to burn. So what probably happens is the Lyme disease sets off this reaction in the joint, which then continues even after the infection is gone. Uh, and that, that's not the rule, that's the exception, but it does happen in some people. And those people, uh, the arthritis, it's felt that in, in a course of usually months to years, it will burn itself out, but in the interim, it's treated the way any other arthritis is treated with anti-inflammatory drugs and that type of thing.